Hey, welcome to Pop's Grill. We're gonna cook a little bit tonight. We're gonna make some burgers. These Bubba burgers are frozen, but they're awesome. If you cook them until the juice comes up, they're gonna be great. And here we have some man cave turkey patties. They got jalapeno and cheddar in there. They don't even taste like turkey burgers, but they're really healthy. So, that's good stuff. We're gonna cook that. You can see Adam's got the grill ready to go. Got a nice stack over here. We like charcoal because it gives us a chance to sit around and chill for a few minutes before we start cooking. So hang out and we're going to be right back. All right, here's a little bit of a fire update. We got this bad boy just flaming nice and hot. So in about 10, uh, 15 minutes, the coals will be gray. We're going to get the grill nice and hot and throw the burgers on. So just chill at Pop's Grill. So we're gonna throw some of these uh, hot dogs on there, but normally I think hot dogs are kind of nasty, but these are really pretty good. They're uh, low fat and they're pretty good because they don't have a lot of fillers and stuff in them. So we're gonna go with burgers, turkey burgers with jalapeno and cheddar and some really good lean hot dog meat. They aren't quite fully hot. We're gonna put them in the middle. Got to kind of rearrange this thing. And uh, spread them out. Boy, that's hot. That is a hot grill. But you don't want the uncooked coals. You want this thing to be ready to put your food on. This is called the lazy, lazy man's. They fall into place. It's perfect. Off we go. Okay, so five minutes, burgers, jalapeno burgers, and hot dogs on the grill. These bad boys are amazing. You would think that frozen burgers aren't that good, which is what I thought at first, but they're convenient and they're awesome. So we're gonna open these bad boys up, get them ready to put on while the grill's going. Um, so, what I like to do is use the, use the box as kind of my plate, so I don't make a bunch of other stuff dirty. And the way these are packaged, they got a little piece of uh, like wax paper in between. So we're going to take those off and get them ready. And what I like to do is put them all, all on at the same time, because then they're all done at the same time. Maybe a slight delay between each one, but that's really cool because that's really easy. You flip them all at once then you only have one kind of one-stop shop now these bad boys are awesome like I said I really like these things they look kind of hard to open yeah, they're not bad um, what's cool is when you when you pull them out uh, when the when the grill is started you can pull these out and and basically they'll thaw a little bit while the grill is getting ready and getting hot so that's kind of cool because the timing ends up just right I usually use a knife to kind of open these things because uh, they are a little bit hard to get out we're gonna go ahead and throw these on so our grills nice and hot check out these coals absolutely perfect and once you put these on there you hear that nice sizzle notice I'm leaving a little spot in the middle The jalapeno cheese turkey burgers. Put one on here. And another on there. And this guy kind of came apart. See, we got some nice smoke rolling there. That smoke's going to help make that burger taste really good even the hot dogs will taste nice and grilled and smoky so uh, there's a temptation to open that thing up and see what is cooking in there best thing to do resist that temptation leave it closed let it smoke give it at least five minutes maybe six seven minutes and then when the juice is on top of the burger then you can flip it that's the key that says I'm ready to be flipped when your juice is up there so you got to watch for that juice until the juice is on top of the burger 
Don't touch it. Just leave it alone. Right, Adam? Oh, sweet. Check it out. Looks like this guy's ready. First, we're going to roll these dogs. These dogs like to roll. Notice they don't have much grill marks on them, but they are cooking. I'm going to roll those dogs. Don't want those to cook too much or they'll just be burnt. Look at that. Beautiful. That one is beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely perfect. What about the burgers? These aren't ready yet. Because they're further away from the grill. Oh, See this see. heat right here? Yeah. All that heat is in the middle. So we're going to move these actually a little bit closer to the heat. That one has some juice on it. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get this out of here. We're going to overcook it. These bad boys are perfect. They're looking beautiful. All right. Yeah, this guy's ready. While we're... Look at this, when we flip it, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, this guy's not ready yet. So we're going to let these get some juice on top, and then we're going to, then we're going to flip them in here in a minute. Kind of rearrange this stuff here. Get these a little bit further away from the heat. I'm going to close it so it smokes the meat really nice. Absolutely beautiful. Check these out. Nice juice on top. Those bubbles, that's what you want. Look at that thing. Nice, crispy. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Now we're going to move these away from the main heat source because if you get them too hot, they're going to burn and you don't want to charge, charge too much charge flavor. But uh, these guys here, we're going to rearrange a little bit. Now these dogs. While we're at it, we're going to pull these into the heat because we do like a little bit of heat on those dogs just to crispy them up a little bit. Uh, but you don't want you don't want to like torch them. You want them just right, okay? Needs a little more heat. So I'm going to pull this one away. This one away here. Here we go. See, so this is the art of grilling. You got to kind of put stuff where the heat needs to be, uh, and and move stuff away from the heat that doesn't need any more heat so you just kind of kind of keep an eye on where where the heat is and where the heat where the need is and so that's what we're doing here so all right the smoke is rolling we're gonna see the meat here. oh there we go crap doesn't it look nice lots of smoke roll these dogs over Again, the dogs are away from the main heat, kind of low and slow. It's going to be really tasty. I think these burgers are almost done. Depends on how you like them, you know. I like them a little bit charred. That's perfect. Look at that. These guys are quite done. This guy's done. This guy's done. So if they're done, I'm going to put them away from the meat. All right, these things are perfect, absolutely perfect. A little flame up there, a Burger King or something. Juicy, yeah, done. So look, I'm gonna call attention to this this guy right here. That is a turkey jalapeno cheddar burger. Looks like a burger to me. Looks like a regular burger, doesn't it? So is this one. So we're gonna put these over here just to keep them warm. Over here, these are done to perfection. I love them with a little char, get a little juice inside. So I'm gonna pull them away from the heat. And then, uh, these dogs are absolutely beautiful. I'm not a hot dog guy, but these look really good. And off we go. We're gonna eat. All right, guys. I'm gonna try the burger first. This is Adam's plate. I have. A burger with cheese and ketchup. Oops. All right, let's try this out. Mmm. That's really good. All right, great show. Initial channel launch, rock and roll. We're gonna be back next time with Pops Grill. See you later.